sweet film show and Mr. Rex. Evening, yeah. fellas. Now, now, What's boy. Up, Rex? Okay, okay, Rex. It's Halloween, uh, the year 2005. You're going to the uh, local Halloween party with your best gal. I'm gonna talk to Rex like he's really old. You're going to the soda, <laughs> you're going to the soda jerk with your best gal before you go to the pumpkin patch. Uh, ah, yes. Fire party. For a hay ride in the moonlight. And Sorry, you see ahead. a gorgeous, <laughs> you see a gorgeous woman with a cute, like you know. Catwoman outfit or the little cat the slutty cat girl outfit it's 2005 furries aren't a thing anime is still only like only a niche amount of people watching anime isn't that kind isn't the you know and she's drawing on the little whiskers you know with her eyeliner like isn't that that was halloween weird, that wasn't right? That, that was, was some mentally yeah. ill person you know trying to reenact BC i identify as getting this. arrested i <laughs> identify as a cat yeah, those those you know, I think what furry what's wrong with furries is is that they're into like bestiality, but they don't want to go to jail for it. I think that's what they're into. <laughs> so they're just like fucking stuffed animals. It's very, it's very like it, it is degenerate. Or as that that little twelve year old kid who broke down rogue, it is very degenerative. <laughs> like it's yeah, <laughs> it's bad. And I, uh, I mean, they're not fucking you know bombarding us with it everywhere like they do with like you know the trans community and shit because like i i are, are you guys did you get did you trainees get enough attention have you guys got enough no. attention yet can the furries have some time in the in the fucking limelight it's, yeah i mean maybe it's their turn and they're my little that's pony right guys. grandpa rex how long until my little pony guys get get a, get a say like how how many sexualities are we gonna have to identify and respect and acknowledge that's what know. I'm asking. We What's have to give number? respect to bronies now. Jesus. Definitely, people like you Andy. Don't respect Cruz. the bronies. Yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to, Kenny. It's they seem manager. like of the geek stuff. They seem like the beta geeks. Beta They'll, geeks. Kenny, long brain like yours, they'd love to send you to the glue factory. Let me tell you, don't fucking <laughs> don't you think twice, Kenny. Um, Why the long face, know. brony? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why? I mean, just like the. Like and there's older guys in there. Like I didn't know Rogue is definitely trying real hard and using that banana meter heavy to try to sound a lot older than he is. Or maybe it's just you know, yeah. He I definitely think he's trying because like even just interviewing that girl on Shangies, I can't I can't see myself ever like doing a sh permanent show with her. Or even just talking if she was a fan and she was talking to me in a Discord, and I was like, this girl sounds like really young, like. What is she? She's only 26, but it's still, I don't know. I'm guess I guess I'm so used to like talking to older people now that like hearing someone go like, are we being dead ass right now? And I was like, no, young lady, because we're both not in New York. So no, neither <laughs> of us are being dead ass. Yeah, right dead now. ass. <laughs> I'm in New York. That's yeah, right. You're a New York dinosaur, Kenny. That's right. I'll be getting that ass this weekend. That's right. I remember you're gonna get some ass this weekend. Who's the lucky gal? Ooh. It's potential. I'm going to a cosplay cool. party that equal, that will end up being an orgy eventually. Oh, okay, so you're a furry now too. This whole no. thing. I don't like Kenny's like it's a cosplay party that ends up in an orgy because I just imagine it's not. It's just a normal cosplay party and Kenny's gonna be pulling his dick out at some point. Like it's getting no, late. I'm not gonna. I'm not just when gonna pull my dick job? out. No, you. Some no, you. Some people say that Kenny's probably getting set up for a robbery, but what we learned no. on the la on my last stream that got taken down, Rex, my last stream got taken down for the uh, yeah. the Joe Biden stuff. That's what I figured happened, man. <laughs> I tried to watch it the next day at work, or yeah. I was, you know, trying to listen to it, and fucking it said taken down for violation. Violation of what? <laughs> Misinformation. Misinformation about. I mean, <laughs> how much he did what? smell that girl's hair, like. He did, yeah. There was tons of footage of it. I don't know. Maybe I could fight it, you know what I'm saying? But I might not be able to. That's but, I mean, I don't care. I mean, I'm like Rex whenever he would make new channels. Like, everybody goes through the rigmarole uh, <laughs> to get their channel back and appeal, things like that. But to me, it's just like, oh, God, it sounds like a to-do. Sounds no, like was... a thing. I got to sit down. I got to write an email to Google. Like, I, I haven't been acting a like I haven't been acting a fool on their uh, on their uh, uh, product this whole time. Like, 
And I'm just like, like what? Just, just, my yeah. original channel, when I really started streaming, it was climbing fast, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I don't care. I fucking I just started a new one. And then yeah, I got I that one taken down. That, that you I know, started I, a new one. Now you're on your third. Like, now I'm on I my feel third. Like when you're on a certain level, you can survive like channel takedowns like that. It's only whenever you like get into the big numbers do you lose like large chunks, you know. But then again, it does happen even on a small scale. It does happen for sure. But I, I wasn't know. making. I wasn't ever planning on making any money off of YouTube anyway. So it's just no, like, I have whatever. No, 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 no. You know, I was planning. I would eventually make some money. Yeah. I was planning on making fun of Kyle while he made money on the internet. That was my <laughs> whole. That was my intentions of coming on here. That would be funny. Yes. Yeah, we gotta get that, Kyle at seventeen bucks. You has should. Any, has uh, anybody checked stream on stream? Snipe him. Next has time anybody, he goes live, just snipe him. Yeah. Have, yeah. have any of y'all watched him? You're talking about sniping him. Have, have any of y'all watched him? I haven't watched him in a couple weeks. Why is there something new going? I haven't on? either. No. Any not, new not updates? No. I'm just saying. Next time he goes live, just snipe him and sit there and make fun of him. I'll come on, we'll make fun of him together. Snipe him, get on the balcony and take his head off. Oh, Naklo came in the chat to say beta. I just want to tell Naklo, put a gun in your mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> it's never been a better time than now, bud. <laughs> yeah, if inflation, everything's getting harder. There really is yeah, no dude. reason to hold on, Naklo. Gas prices alone. Imagine process. driving from fucking Texas to Florida. In the middle of this. Balls. God, Just go through uh, the three-day anyway. process to buy your gun and put it in your mouth. That's right. Yeah, put a gun in your mouth. Okay, I'm sorry, Cosmic. This is your stream. Go, no, go no, ahead, no, guys. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just... I haven't been keeping up with Saiyans Entertainment at all. Like, I feel like I miss, I miss them a little bit. We haven't... We got we to gotta talk to them on uh, with the pod that one time. And now I'm like, I'm going to keep up with Saiyans Entertainment. Again. I'm going to be a fanboy. But I just... I don't know. He plays videos, and uh, I just I can't. I supported the cause, but it wasn't enough to, like you know, commit to hours of watching him because his stream is just it's not it's not what it used to be. Maybe the new the new generation of Kyle viewers they yeah. love it, right? Because they came they probably in do, yeah, knowing it was that. But from us knowing what it was before, you know, him being more interactive with people. I feel like those were the the glory days for for my internet father Kyle. Now we just wait around for a uh, mother in law to beat him beat him a little bit. That's all he could do now. Yeah, it's, if something watchable happens, it will be clipped. You know what I mean? So yeah. it really is a point where like outside outside forces have to intervene with Sands for me to be like, what is going on in that show? You know, like it takes like oh, so his mom was beating on him, like or. Oh, his girl, his baby mom was hitting on it, threw a can at him. Like, I that's the only time yeah. now that I <laughs> if something I historical happens, it's clipped. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You don't miss anything. It's just mm -hmm. the, well, I mean, I wouldn't watch fucking Sam Tripoli anyways, or <laughs> Amazing Atheist, or any of those streams that yeah. he plays. And that's all he does now is he just plays those in his entirety. For the first like hour of the stream, he will add some commentary, but by the like, you know, the second half. Yeah. It's over. He's slurring, incoherent. Yeah. You know, He's just yelling at AIU or whatever. Yeah, I get it. I like, I told you, go. We, <laughs> we brought up uh, amazing atheist uh, uh, last time, and or on Dengi stream, and I was talking about how like that with, like like I I didn't even know he was around since since like the candle the candle wax incident. And the banana incident, like I don't know how I ended up seeing that or find going into that rabbit hole, but he really like these people. Like what Ross was saying, these some of these people they will come up and be like, "Hey, what happened to your channel, Rex?" You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the yeah. day after they're on <laughs> X videos, you know. Like I, I remember you saying that on Shangy's stream the other day. You're like, "Yeah, I'm fucking amazing atheist came back and he was like, yeah, what happened to your channel, Rex?" <laughs> Imagine that's like falling into like a fucking fire pit. You know what I mean? And burning yeah. for like at a party. Like, let's say you're at a field party and you trip and you fall into a fire pit and you get third degree burns all over your body. But you you get up, you dust yourself off, you go right back to drinking. <laughs> That's, how <it> is. <laughs> That's how it is. Yeah. I you guess... know, you're just not going to leave and go recover. You're just going to get right back to it. You're just punching back in. You know, I, but being the Teflon Don is like what wins the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like because like Sans taught us that. Like it doesn't matter how bad you lose, 
just claim that you won. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. Just, just say, just say whatever. Just say just, anything. <laughs> That's all. Just just be there. It's like having a job. Like eighty percent of it is just showing up and being there. You know. Yeah. I don't know. The most effective thing you can do is just repeat the same lie, mm -hmm. and uh, tell yourself you win. Rex, if I you think. could, if you could e grift anything right now, what would it be? If I could e grift anything. If, like if it was an item, if you're just like, my God, everybody, I need a new, you know, I don't whatever. even think I would want, I would rather like, you know, uh, do something that like I was actually proud of, to be honest. What do you I mean? don't know? Like, I don't know, man. I fucking, is it okay if I talk about fitted hats? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, want, I would love to get a fucking retail contract from fucking new era and design my own. <laughs> then fucking put them out there. I don't think there's, that's something. Okay, well, <laughs> there's a Hell whole yeah. process you got to go through. Like your design's got to be approved by Major League Baseball and shit in the NFL. Dinosaur hats? Yeah, that's right. I wore one of those. There's that guy on the shorts. It doesn't matter. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. But he's the guy. He bends the bim, the brims. But he like is a big like fitted hat guy, and he he they they do he like upholsters his own hats. You know what I'm saying? He'll just go in there with like a. Big ass, the fancy ass, super crazy, I guess, upholstery machine. And right. Like put his own designs in there and stuff like that. I've seen, there's this one girl, she makes a good amount of money and she does like, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's basically stitching, but it's like really long and you kind of just use the shade. I, I don't, I should not brought it up if I don't know what it's called, but there's ways to, I guess, DIY it, do it yourself, but you want a contract. You want to be able to like design, like you want to be able to throw back to like some old fucking. NFL fucking yeah, dude. <laughs> I'd love to get like an old Houston, like you can get Houston Astros <laughs> is a good one, man. They got fucking tons of logos throughout the like yeah. I don't know how many years they've. What's a good example of it? There's teams that have been around since like the 1800s, right? Yeah, like the yeah, fucking sure. Detroit Tigers or like the Boston Red Sox and shit like that. They've gone through so many different logos, and they're all owned by Major League Baseball, right? So you can pretty much fucking design anything. So something Jesus. like that. I don't know. I've been into that lately. But you got to get a contract. There's a whole thing. What would you e-grift for, uh, Kenny? One thing you could e-grift him. Just, you could just beg on the internet for like three hours and you could have it. What would it be, Kenny? Hmm. I don't know. I might work on some comic books. Don't yeah, but if you if you're proud of your no, but, art, that's not great. Nobody's man. understanding the question. Okay. No, yeah, I get it. I get it. If I you're gonna grift something, it's gotta be something that you know is shit, and then you make money off of it, tricking people into buying it, right? So it's gotta be something that's fucking, you know. The yeah. the grifting should be kind of embarrassing, you know? Yeah, maybe, no, it is you, embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Maybe what would the grift be? Day. Oh, just grifting. I mean, just grifting. Just asking outright. You know, what I'm thinking about is what Steph's last stream was about, was Wogs. And I looked up that Gresh guitar he had and how expensive it is. Like, Wogs, like, totally turned in his morals to hang out with this overt scammer lady, Natasha Cooper. <laughs> and, like, and I was, I remember, I remember I was talking to Steph and I was explaining to her, like, in a deep manner. I was like, you know, I think Wogs didn't really have a big community. He did streams by himself mostly. I mean, he had, like, like me, he had, like, 20, 30 people in his chat at a time. You know, I think he was, you know, the, the Boyd's dead, the, the DCs. I'm giving all these reasons of why maybe he's hanging out with Nakasha Tooper yeah. and her people. Kelsey, what would you And why? Hold on, Kenny. Hold on, Kenny. And while I'm saying this, Steph is pulling up a video of him holding up, like, a, like a $2,000 guitar on the screen and, like, moving it around. I'm like, oh, you know, also – that guitar could be a big reason why you're making friends and selling your soul to the YouTube devil. <laughs> yeah, to I mean, beg the, for guitar money, like two thousand yeah, dollar guitars are expensive habits, man. I don't know. It's a fucking yeah. He's a guitar collector. Steph collects <laughs> no. guitars. Yeah, dude. No wogs, wogs. He doesn't collect guitars. Oh. He's just a guitar player who decide who who decided to uh, boogie and shake in front of the right audience to get himself a new guitar. You know, some people would say that. that's cool. Some people I tune into like. that, but I'm not. I don't. I don't know a lot about Natasha Cooper. So she, she's yeah. a fat fucking grifter. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a fat. I just know she's a morbidly obese fucking old lady, lady in her recliner.